What is up guys, gals, and all you awesome minions of different shapes and sizes, genders and races? Any fish out there? Cats or dogs? That would be crazy. If anyone says, like types woof in the comments, I'd be really worried. It's me, Josh, AK Noir Proxy, bringing you some Basilborn today on the PlayStation 4. We are playing as Miko. I mean, come on, Miko's my go-to. Get a gal it. <laughs> it's like a guy, it's like a gal, it's like a nit. I'm not too sure what it is yet. Do we actually know what the gender of this thing is? I'm not too sure. But, love Miko. Miko's my favorite character. I wear every single day an Evolve medic kind of like a little wristband thing. And that's because I am a medic. I love to play the medic role. I find that not many people like to play the medic role. And so you don't get that kind of support, which can always turn the tide of the battle. Medics save the day. They keep you in the fight. They make sure that you can keep pushing. And that's why I like to play as these characters because they can actually contribute properly. Like they can still like push a little bit, but they, they keep you alive. It's one of those things you have to run back to the base. You have to heal then come all the way back. And it's one of those things where it takes long. It, it puts a little bit of a dampener on the damage output that your team can do. And so Miko is my go-to character. But something's ended up happening. They ended up me it's just it's just it's just it just frustrates me. It's one of these things where it's like it's saddening because I found Miko to be incredibly, incredibly balanced. I found the healing not to be too powerful. I found it was one of these things where the healing beam's rate was still quite acceptable because it didn't like heal instantly, it, it healed over time. It took like maybe about five to six seconds, which is good, which is what you want because generally it takes around five to six seconds to kill somebody in this game. So it was one of these things where it was like, well, why did you do that? I actually just killed Raph there with some kunai, which is kind of good of me. Generally I wouldn't be able to do that at this point in the game, but that guy just walked into our base, which was either silly or it was very, very brave. I'm gonna go with still brave. <laughs> which is a combination of the two, but they ended up nerfing Miko, and it's one of these things where it's like, I don't want to find out what it's like. Now, this is actually pre-patch, and this is the thing, I haven't played the game in a week. After the patch, I was kind of like, okay, maybe I'll go play another game while they try and sort out all this balancing and stuff. They then also ended up, I guess you could class it as balancing or nerfing or buffing. I don't know, Gallia as well? You see Gallia there just in front of me. And... Everyone's been having issue with Gallia where they thought she was too powerful, that she could just take everything. There was this thing where she could kind of like, like mute people. This is what I was going to say before is that I class it as muting, where you can kind of like, it's kind of like nerfing, but muting is kind of like taking your abilities down even further to the point where they can't be that useful. And so from what I've seen, Miko isn't as capable as it used to be. Remember, this is supposed to be a consistent battle medic. And so having a battle medic that can't really be a battle medic is kind of worrying. Because basically what they've ended up doing now is they've made it so that your AoE heal ability isn't as effective. The heal beam is constantly fine. That's, that's fine. That, that can do what it needs to do. But the AoE ability is nerfed. And it was this thing where if you're in like a giant bomb rush of people, you know, where you've got all your horde of teammates and minions all together, that AoE is actually really, really useful because it takes so long to focus fire with a healing beam just from the auto aim of it, where it won't even aim on the right targets sometimes, or just because of the slow rate of it. But then I mean, you do get the gear later on when you use your shards and stuff that can actually allow you to increase your healing powers and stuff. So it's not too bad, it's more that they've ended up nerfing Miko in a way, I guess, to the point where the, the gear is a little bit more helpful in that it, like, makes you need the gear a bit more. Because because I, I guess you didn't really need the gear to kind of like be a consistent healer with Miko, and now maybe it will. And so I'm kind of curious to see what some of like the epic and legendary kind of like loot's gonna be like when you try to use the healing beam or the AoE even. So it's curious. It, it's one of these things where I, I don't know what to think yet because I haven't really properly tried it. But I'd love to know your opinion in the comment section below. What do you think to the fact that Miko has been nerfed in some shape or form? Yeah! You may notice as well that I'm using the gold skin. Kind of cool. I got this for like a pre-order bonus. One of these things where you ended up getting a few characters in gold skins. I don't really like it. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of pimping out. Like, it's one of these things where I know that Call of Duty has it and, and Battlefield, I think, has it, where you can have like gold skins and stuff. And I don't really, it's one of these things where it's like, it's a full body coat of gold and it kind of, I don't know. It just kind of, it doesn't feel immersive. It kind of takes me out of it a little bit. I look like Midas kind of caressed me, kind of like I was asleep in bed or at least Miko was and then Midas was all like, I'm going to touch you now. And then he just accidentally touched Miko and he turned to girl. It. She. <laughs> Still though, would love to know your opinion on Battleborn in the comment section below. Have you been playing it? Have you stopped playing it? I, I find that I've needed a little bit of a break from it, I guess as well, because of all the other multiplayer games that are coming out. Doom has been really, really awesome. Uncharted has been really, really awesome. So many good games. So many awesome games. And we also have Overwatch coming out in about a week. 
It's going to be amazing, so we will be covering that as well. We're going to be covering all the games. I love multiplayer games at the moment. 2016 has been an amazing year for multiplayer games. Not a very good year for life expectancy of celebrities, but when it comes to multiplayer games, it's fantastic. There's really good communities to them. Not, you, we're not seeing them die out or anything like that. Like, really good, really stable multiplayer kind of like side distractions in the products that we're buying these days. And that's great. That's fantastic. It's not one of these things where, like, say if you bought Call of Duty, not many people play the campaign. They just go straight to the multiplayer. And so we're now seeing like a nice little bit of a balance, you know, where the multiplayer is really good, the campaign's really good. You got a mix. You got a good mix. Like I've been playing the Uncharted campaign, which has been fantastic. Really love it. And the multiplayer as well has been so fun. Like I have never laughed so much from doing taunts on people while like downing them and stuff. And it's just really good fun. It's just so well balanced. It's it, it's basically kind of upping what Uncharted 3 did when it came to its multiplayer, which was still a really good game. And Battleborn, as you can see, it's it's good. It's good for what it is. It's it's not. I'd probably say it's the lower of all of them. Like, from what I played of Overwatch, I really liked Overwatch. And what I played so far of Uncharted and Doom, I really liked those multiplayer modes. Just for, like, different kind of, like, concepts, I guess. And I used to be, like, a major League of Legends and Dota player. Like, I even have the Drow Ranger t-shirt and everything. And I even have, like, a, a Vi mouse pad. Like, that's how much I was into MOBAs at the time. And so getting a game that is a MOBA and... I mean, it's not the best one. I'd say that Battleborn is probably not the best MOBA that I've ever played. It's still really good, but there are things that need to be fixed about it, like the tankiness. I feel like the tankiness needs to be sorted out. Because I play as Miko, we all know the healing beam is a major flaw, is a major issue to its skill set, because that's like its main output of contribution. And so, being able to like aim at somebody and then seeing the beam go off in another direction and heal something else is a little bit worrying. So, again, we'd love to know your opinion, Itch. What do you think to Battleborn? What do you think to all the multiplayer games that are out at the moment? What are you going to be playing? What are you hoping to maybe get back into? Are there any kind of older ones, like maybe like a Battlefield 4 or maybe like a Advanced Warfare that you maybe wanted to get back into one of those? Or maybe you want to get into like a MOBA or something like that? We'd love to know all of your opinion all of your thoughts in the comment section below, but it's been me, Josh, aka Noir Proxy, bringing you some Battleborn, baby. I know you like that Battleborn, and <laughs> so I'm going to keep giving you Battleborn, it's going to be awesome. So enjoy this last half of the gameplay without me getting in the way of it, because I know I can be a little bit annoying. I know that sometimes you need a little bit of a break, just enjoy some music by Monster Cat. Ciao for now. What have you got to say? Hey, fellas. My heart is on display, but I'm not afraid. Yeah, I'm not afraid.
hostiles remain. An ally hired some thrall mercenaries. <laughs> Roll mercenaries moving out. <laughs> 